Gaming for your entertainment. What is going on, everybody? Kyle Skater24 here, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2's Legendary Edition Part 3. And today we're going to be heading to the Citadel and acquire a and <laughs> sorry, acquire Kasumi. But before we do that, I am going to do a little bit of planet scanning. We just finished Omega. We recruited Morden, Garrus, and Zaid. And you know how this planet scanning works. Or maybe you don't. Away. Research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. So we're just gonna do a little bit of planning scanning here. Not planet scanning can be pretty much a pain. So I am not going to do too much of that here. Launching probe. Research projects. Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. And so, thank you in advance for all of your support. If you can, please like and subscribe to Kyle Skater 24 as well as all of my videos on this channel. I am currently playing on my PS4 through Twitch Live, which will eventually be showcased on YouTube. So, thank you very much to everyone who's watching. Interesting. So, we just finished going on to Omega, but oh, the Omega 4 Relay is essentially the place. Until we have a solution in place, we cannot utilize the Omega 4 Relay. Yeah, so. Just to give you an idea on what that's like. But that is essentially our final mission. Heading to the Omega-4 Relay, which is literally right next to Omega. Here is the map. And... We're gonna head straight to the Citadel. And recruit Kasumi. Whom the dossier calls the Master Thief. And also, if you guys have any comments, concerns, constructive, constructive criticisms, please let me know. I'm always happy to respond and comment. And if there are any other video games you would like me to try out and do video game walkthroughs with my commentary as well, please make sure you follow what I'm doing here so that you get an idea of what kind of gaming, per se, that I like to do. And this is... Uh, this is, again, my very first playthrough that I'm doing on YouTube and Twitch and on social media ever. And so this will kind of be of a this will kind of be a new experience for me. And I'm continuing to share my love of Mass Effect with all of you guys. And so there will probably be some bumps in the road. There will probably be some noises, some unknown noises through my headphones here. I've got my bird sitting right behind me. I'll probably have some cars being honked or something like that. Maybe my phone will go off. And so if that happens, we'll just keep going. And I appreciate your understanding in any outside noises we hear in this portion of the video. And so we just got Garrus. That was our most recent person we have acquired. And we can also have our third outfit available for Garrus as well. So we are going to bring Garrus with us. And because it's a Citadel for the first time, I really don't feel like bringing Miranda and Jacob because Cerberus and Alliance are sworn enemies at this point. So I'm going to bring Garrus and Morden. We've also got some... Wow, you can really tell from Garrus's uh, war-torn armor how detailed that rocket hit him in the face and his body armor. It's, it's, it's very well done, I gotta say. It's awesome. It's very awesome looking. 
All right, so I'm gonna use area overload because it'll hit a wider array of targets. I feel like crowd control and hitting abilities with crowd control will really help in our favor, or in my favor, in fact. Let's see. Yeah, I don't really want to use Cryo Blast on Morden. I just don't find it as effective as maybe some people would like to think. I could probably be a... It, it, it's a personal opinion. All right, let's take this vin vindicated by a bunch of uh, resources to where we could actually acquire some different weapons and armor and all of that fun stuff. And we'll just keep going from there. If there's one game that I love playing through over and over again, it is Mass Effect 2 and its final mission. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. You'll get to understand why probably in the final suicide mission video. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. We'll give it just a second. Just enter your password for a fabulous prize package worth millions of credits. Okay, really? How many times can you walk by without stopping? Well, a lot, actually. Shepard, you do have the password, right? I might. <laughs> Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. All right. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step hmm. to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. What's this heist you're playing? Not here, Shepard. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. Hmm. You want to look presentable. I assume a gray box is it's some a new This one in particular belonged to my Tell partner. me about this former partner of yours. His name was Keiji Okuda, the best hacker and entryman I've ever known. Unfortunately, he slipped up and made himself infamous. He stole something he shouldn't. He warned me it was bad, 
Something that could spark interstellar war if it got out. That information... got him killed. What could he have found that's so bad? He wouldn't say what it was, just that it was dangerous. He said if it got out, humanity would be in trouble. He encrypted it, wrapped it up in his own memories. To decode the information, you have to sift through all the time we spent together. Now those memories are all that's left of him. I can understand why you'd want to get it back. Getting it back will be easier with your help, Shepard. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. Silly's standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Hmm. So, that is Kasumi Goto, and, well, she is technically the second and final DLC person we could recruit, so we've now got Zaid, and now we've got Kasumi. Keepers. Fascinating creatures. Genetic constructs adapted to work in Citadel. Couldn't survive a unknown purpose. Wish I could have studied them. Had other things to do instead. I thought it might be nice to come back here and see how it's changed, but it's just like it was. Same dirty streets, same unrepentant scavengers, same revolving door prisons. Being security here is a terrible job. This is exactly why I left. Hmm. The Destiny Ascension has completed its 20 colony victory cruise. Council members aboard thanked Human Alliance soldiers for their efforts in repelling Saren's invasion two years ago. The attack on the human colony of Freedom's Progress has generated a swift but confused response. Aid vessels have been sent, but it is not clear whether there are survivors. The Council offered its sympathy, but regretted that it could not become involved in a purely human matter. Alliance military officials are having difficulty meeting hiring quotas, according to a new report. Since Eden Prime, an initial surge in patriotic enlistments was followed by a downturn, as the public became skeptical that the Alliance can match Geth technology. Fears of an uncontrolled plague in the streets of Omega have been laid to rest, as the disease is now under control. Charles Saracino, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance Parliament candidate, has pled guilty to tax evasion. He is in custody pending sentencing. The Shepard Scholarship has gone into effect, targeting low-income children on Earth, where the most famous human in the galaxy allegedly had a difficult childhood. The scholarships have allowed several dozen young men and women to leave gangs and join the military or enroll in school. So, I want to I wanted to really quickly go through all of the narrative here so that the next time I go through another playthrough like this, I won't have to do the same things over and over again. Also, because Shepard has a, well, not a ruthless background, it's more of a Earth-centric background because he had a difficult childhood. From what I understand, the Shepard Scholarship is all dependent on what your pre-service history is. No, what your psychological profile is, not your pre-service history. My pre-service history is as a sole survivor where my shepherd sir, was the only survivor on a coos. The Earthborn background is my pre-service history. And that is dependent on which shepherd scholarship you got. And, leading into that, with the Soul Survivor psychological profile, Corporal Toombs was the other person who has been publicly found alive from that Thresher Maw unit that, well, from the Thresher Maw that killed my Shepherd's unit on a coos. And Dr. Wayne was a Cerberus scientist. So, good to see that that all of that has been carried over, no matter how little it is, no matter how little information that is, it affects the world around my world as well. The Systems Alliance Parliamentary Subcommittee for Transhuman Studies has awarded reparations for biotics suffering complications from L2 implants. 
Same thing with this mission. Yep. Mass Effect 1 mission, Chairman Burns saved him, convinced the Biotics to not kill him. With a Paragon choice, of course. So, with that specific mission, I did let Balak go to save the hostages, and they have continued that narrative as well. That's a little shady. Commander Shepard. He uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did he? Witnesses report seeing him alive on Omega. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams, who died fighting Saren on Vermeer, was posthumously awarded the Salarian Silver Dagger and the Turian Nova Cluster. Williams served proudly with non-human crew members, and was once heard to say, Human or alien, we're all just animals. She is the first Alliance soldier to receive either award. Yeah. Yeah. Ashley died. We all miss her. And Zeus Hope on Pharos. We saved the colony. Yep, we saved the Destiny Ascension. Alright, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to go through all of that just once, so that we didn't have to hear more of it. Damn targets! That is why you wait for the computer to give you a damn firing solution! 
That is why, Serviceman Chung, we do not eyeball it. This is a weapon of mass destruction. You are not a cowboy shooting from the hip. Sir, yes, sir. Anyone else notice how these guys' hands are going through their bodies and through their asses? Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> this recruits is a 20 kilo ferris slug. All right. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was oh. a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Something seems a little off on her face. Is it just me? Because that just seemed... Weird. Thanks for your time. Next. Also, we did um, ignore uh, Turian's cry of... Telling her that uh, you humans are all racist. Because, well... We can't, the Citadel can't allow firearms inside the wards. Looks like they've tightened up security. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. I was listed as missing in action a couple of years ago. Would you mind checking in with my captain? He can reinstate you in our system. He's just past the scanners on your right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes? I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. Hmm. My console says you're dead. Captain Bailey, voiced by Michael Hogan. So you're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Couldn't one of us, or both of us, get into trouble for that? There's no way to fool the DNA scanners in that tunnel. You're you. Why wait in long lines and fill out a mass of useless hard copy paperwork to get to the same place? The Council does everything by the book. They've had thousands of years to write it. Sometimes things need to get done without a committee vote. You're not big on formalities, are you? I'm with them right up until they keep people from doing their jobs. There. I just saved you about nine days of running around. That said, you should head up to the Presidium and tell them you're still alive. The Council probably wants to talk to the one who saved their scaly asses. What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the Spectre's resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? How'd you end up working on the Citadel? I started with the Alliance way back when, but the traveling was killing me. It's a shitty life if you're trying to raise a family, seeing your kids every six months. I joined CSEC so I could stay in one place, put down roots. You like life here on the Citadel? Yeah, life here is good. Hell of a lot different than life back on Earth. I miss the food mostly. You just can't get sockeye salmon here on the station. You ever get back there? Earth, every couple of years, less and less all the time. But when I finish my stint with CSEC, there's a nice little place in the foothills I'm gonna retire to. Not that I'm retiring anytime soon. 
It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course they fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. So, um, Dillanaga is actually Matriarch Dillanaga. There are a few Asari Matriarch writings about Matriarch Dillanaga, if you're interested in, well, exploring that in your own time. Tell me about this place. All the wards are more or less multicultural, but the other four are dominated by Asari, Turians, or Solarians. In Zakira, we've got major enclaves of Volus, Elcor, and Hanar. There's also a human commercial zone at Shinakiba. We've got a few Krogan walking around. I think I saw a quarry in the other day. I overheard your conversation. Make him scream a little? This isn't a Presidium. All they have to worry about are protesters outside their free speech zones or someone's poodle crapping on the grass. Down here, we have drugs, organized crime, and murder. Policing a ward is like policing New York City. Sometimes you have to work outside the Council's rulebook. CSEC has changed. Last time I was here, there were no human captains in CSEC. Well, CSEC took a lot of casualties when the Geth boarded the Presidium. The Special Response Division was hard hit. They stopped turning their noses up at human resumes. They needed bodies in uniform, and we had the most experienced bodies. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. All right. So, we're going to go through the Citadel, and we're going to go through as much of it as we can before we have to come back here again. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. There seem to be a lot more CSEC officers than the last time I was here. In the wake of the Geth attack two years ago, additional security precautions were implemented for the safety and security of residents. In addition to increased CSEC patrols, weapon carry restrictions have been tightened. So has crime decreased? Violent crime has decreased by 23%. Property crime has decreased by 41%. Incident clearance has improved by 16%. I need to talk to the Council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the CSEC security cordon. It looks like this place has recovered from Sovereign's attack. Repair of the damage from the Geth attack is ongoing. There is still extensive damage on Tasery Ward. Geth? It was Sovereign who led the attack. A Reaper. I have no information on a Reaper. References to the term exist in some parahistorical theories on galactic extinction cycles. Mimetic Engineering. Council blames Geth. Lies to cover up Reapers. Keeps public from panicking. What stores are available on this level? Only one store exists on this level. Citadel Souvenirs offers licensed mementos of your visit. Their line of Starship models is well regarded. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a <clears throat> pleasant day. Okay. So... We got the Zakara Cafe, too. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn Citadel. Cool. So we've now got... Almost 41,000 credits. And we might as well get some high-grade provisions as well as Ascension and Revelations novels. So, Revelations, now I'm remembering, was the Mass Effect novel about David Anderson and his time working with uh, Saren Arterius, the former Turian Spectre. This was before Commander Shepard became the first human Spectre and when Anderson was originally going to be the first human Spectre. Ascension takes place after Mass Effect 1, 
Um, but if you remember in part one, where we are discussing about what Shepard missed back when the Quarians and Cerberus were at each other's throats, this is the novel that showcases the extent of that conflict. And it does involve a guy named Paul Grayson. So I won't say anything more than that, but rest assured, both of these novels are great Mass Effect novels for more deep diving understanding of the world of Mass Effect. And they actually do give brief overviews, but I just gave you some extra insight on them, so... I'm also going to buy the high-grade provisions for... Isn't that the same face I was just looking at? I don't know. Something about that face seems weird. Pharos. Oh my god. There's Batarian burger meat? Yay. You know, I always wonder and imagine what that would be look what that would look like. A fictionalized version of Shepard's heroic actions. Shepherd, are you looking for a good time? Drinks from a hundred worlds? Games, perhaps a little companionship? The Dark Star, one level up. I'll see you there. Oh my. Yeah, the Dark Star is very close to where we are. And then Corliss is actually a world um, where we will essentially be going to when we recruit our Krogan expert. Alright. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. To say I'm a risk. <laughs> uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. <laughs> Fun, violent banter. Before I continue on, let's just save over this. Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. I'd like to buy something. My apologies. I do not make sales. I'm here to answer questions and process returns and exchanges. To make a purchase, browse our electronic catalog over there. These stores are owned by the Citadel, right? That's correct. Citadel souvenirs outlets are owned by the council government. The profits generated by sales are used to maintain the station. We offer an assortment of decorations suitable for display in your personal quarters. Since these stores are owned by the Council, do government employees get a discount? Yes, in fact. Uh, what's your position? 
I'm a former Spectre. My goodness, I didn't know Spectres quit. I don't believe you qualify for a discount, though. How about if I throw in an endorsement from the man who defeated Sarah? You or Shepard? My goodness. The increase in sales would certainly be worth offering a discount. What do you need me to do? Just voice your endorsement into my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> Excellent. I will get my clerical VI to add it to our advertising immediately. All right. Yay! And we get to get the space hamster! All right. And the scald fish. Now, note on the fish. Every time you go somewhere or go on a mission, you need to feed them. If you don't, going to feeding the fish on like two or three missions, there is a possibility they could die. So, I might be saving often a little more to just personally bring the fish into the next game. So, be forewarned. So do you want to get one of the fish, or maybe a model ship? How is a model ship supposed to remind me of the Citadel? It's festive, and you like ships. I'm an engineer, honey. I look at ships all day. Alright, let's go up. Okay, I'm. I don't want to listen to more of that. All right, now let's talk to Etarn Tiron. What can I do for you? Okay, so interesting thing here. If you saved the Citadel, I'm sorry. If you saved the Council or killed the Council, you will have a different reaction with this particular individual. So because we saved the council, he's a little more friendly. If you didn't, he will be a little more aggressive. I thought weapons were restricted on the Citadel now. Carrying them around is, selling them isn't. We store them in off-site containers and deliver them to your ship. People who have permission to carry, like CSEC, can walk out with them. So this entire conversation is all Paragon related. The tone of, the Turi of this particular Turian will be very different if you were, well, renegade. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Rodham believes in salesmanship, a personal touch. Some say we're old-fashioned. We recognize that adventure traveling is a niche, a small, tight-knit community. Also, it'll make the Turian think that if you killed the council, it was all for human interests. I'd like to buy something. Try our electronic catalog interface. That kiosk over there. Tell me about your services. We sell quality hunting supplies, which you'll need when you purchase one of our adventure travel packages. Imagine it, human. The break of day. You and your team have been stalking a Shafa for five days. In that time, it's killed four men. You see it? Line it up. Take the shot. Blam! It's down. You're the hero. That's what we offer. Not a vacation, but an experience. To this day, I actually don't know what a Shatha is. There's no picture of a Shatha. So, I would assume it's a predator of sorts. Your expeditions might be a little tame for me. Tame? A human can hardly take down a feral Theron, let alone a Shatha. Who do you think you are? Well, my name's Shepard, and... The Shepard? The one that put down Saren Arterius? Oh, you do know me. By the spirits. Shepard, in my store. I don't suppose I could convince you to record an advertisement for me. Sure you could. Can we work out a discount? A discount? I'd name my firstborn after you if you ask. <laughs> record it now. Just speak towards my console. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> no other gun shop has that kind of endorsement. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of very expensive things here. There's also 
quite a few... Interesting how that... Huh. They've definitely taken some more... Well, Mass Effect 3-esque pictures of said items and said armor. But these are originally from the original Mass Effect 2 game. This is new. So... It's cool. It's different. I like it. We're going to come back to this to to this specifically though. I just want to be able to explore everything first. So, have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? Oh, I love that game. It's based on Turian mythology, but it's really fun. I hear it has 11 billion players now. Yeah, this is like your GameStop employee here. Sorry. Game salesman. But it's true. Do you have any games you'd like to trade in? You get two credits toward a new game. You know what's good? Alliance Corsair. The battles are pretty realistic, but it's still fun. And you can install it on an Omni tool. For 10 credits, we offer data protection for any game we sell. If the copy protection ever malfunctions, you can download a new copy free. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba really nasty <laughs> hmm? oh sorry I was playing this fascinating human game solitaire did you need something <laughs> uh, solitaire I wish they still made role-playing games like they used to these days it's all big choices and visceral combat I miss those old games, where you had to remember to drink water, and it took five hours real time to fly somewhere. That would be the essence of a true RPG. Do you have an account with us? If you open one, we have a special this month. You can download a game free. The worst thing about Extranet games is when some Batarian comes on and insists on speaking his own language without auto-translation. Weird how his mouth is actually not moving at all. I don't get the complaints about the Grim Terminus Alliance games. So what if you can capture and beat slaves? It's just a game. <laughs> uh, sometimes the world loves to make controversial things controversial. You know anyone who plays that extra net game, Third Coil? <laughs> Me neither. You sure hear about it a lot in the news, though. I know it looks like I'm not working. But there's only so many times you can sweep the place. If games were still available on OSD, I could alphabetize the racks or something. <laughs> Do you play those human sports games? They sell well in the Alliance. And to Krogan. Well, if it was Madden NFL 2021, then sure. <laughs> Be really interesting to see Krogan play Madden football, right? Have you tried Galaxy of Fantasy yet? All right. I love that game. Shepard, you've recently been dead. Don't you deserve the quality and distinction of a traditional Asari burial robe? Uh, no. Does Mortuary offers the finest quality burial robes, hand spun by skilled Asari artisans. Anatos will help you leave a good-looking corpse. In everyone's life, there is a moment when things crystallize. Model Danica. 
stage colonization of Exogeny Corp's Feral's colony. This is the first opportunity for public investment in this ancient world, where humans live in Prothean structures 50 millennia old. Contact your broker for details. Good to hear that Pharos is thriving at this point. Also, I am going through every little nook and cranny on the Citadel, so I don't have to do it later. No, I don't. Huh. Well, that's new. I don't normally... It's a little weird to actually see some... individuals inside this area. I hadn't seen that in Mass Effect 2 before. So that's cool. This guy's outfit actually looks really cool, too. Oh, look. People want to hear your story, Shepard. All right, might as well. Police have been seen in Al Jalani, Westerlin News. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a Spectre. You presented your case very well on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. Your bath, your news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. Yeah, I don't feel like punching or doing this. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. The figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shenyang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. Commander Shepard, first human Spectre. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. Well, you did want the best news scoop. I say you got it. shopping and entertainment options for the discerning visitor. What entertainment options are available? The Dark Star is a small but popular night spot offering intoxicants, gambling, and exotic dancing. What stores are in this area? Rodham Expeditions sells high-grade weapons as well as adventure travel packages to the galaxy's most dangerous destinations. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Alright, let's go to the Dark Star. I can't tell if that's a female Solarian or not. Normally when they hide their faces like that, that normally means that's a female Solarian. Not always though. They could be male Dalatrasses too. Keepers for the Presidium. Do you know if there are fish in the lakes? I get that question a lot. I think it's right behind where's the restroom. Those are reservoirs. The Presidium's own supply, independent from the water storage tanks in the woods. The only place I know of on the station to get a live fish is the Laosanese's gift shop. I know that you're one of the ground. I get that. Those the only place I know of on this station. When I pour a glass of water, it's the same stuff that tourists throw garbage in. No, they purify it first. If 
some solarian or human bacteria gets left in, and a Turian or Quarian drinks it, they could die. Everything would be so much simpler if we all had the same DNA. But no, the universe loves diversity. <laughs> Where's that gift shop? In the market downstairs from the bar. Delea sells aquariums. Fish are the largest pets most station residents can get a permit for. Thanks for your time. No problem. If you get up to the Presidium, check out the Demile flowers across from the condom. They're coming in very nice. We'll talk to the bartender in just a second. Well, might as well dance again. <laughs> Hold on just a sec. There we go. You know, it's a little funny. All, almost, yeah. All three of these guys literally doing the exact same dance move. All right, let's talk to the bartender. Will it be? Hear about anything interesting going on around here? Serve drinks. If you want to know what's going on? Check the news. I don't know why humans always ask me that. I want the strongest thing you have. Interesting that this terrain has kind of a pink scale. This is it's green. And guaranteed to knock you on your ass. Unless you're dextro DNA like me. If you are, it'll kill you. It's not pink scale though, it's more anything else? It's more like pink outlining. I forget what Turians do to sometimes represent a better indication or representation of themselves, but I don't think I've seen any Turian use pink on their face like that before. At least not in the original. Let's have another one. You are. Anything else? Not done yet. Hit me again. How about we mix it up? This is genuine Batarian and uncut. Don't ask how I got it. I've been serving here eight years. I've never seen anyone have this and stay on their feet. Hmm. <laughs> Anything else? If this were any other, uh, well, headgear, I would be questioning why I'm able to drink through it. But luckily, my f my mouth is open and available to drink these, so it's a little more realistic. Do it. Okay, for you, something special. This is Krogan liquor, Rincon. You'll set off radiological alarms after you drink it. Should I pour you a quad? Oh, yay. Yes. Oh, yeah. But more of the stuff in the thing where stuff goes in. Your funeral, pal. Whoops. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, a drunk shepherd will, uh, will get to that point and just black out and appear in the most unexpected places you could possibly think of. The bathroom's not as realistic. Well, the real... 
let me say this, the bathroom is pretty realistic. I'm probably I'm 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 probably on a rock at a rock at a hard place here, but all I was trying to say is that No. All I'm saying is is that Shepard tends to you know, be forgiven by doing stupid things like drinking a lot. To which I would say hydrate. As I am. Although I am not drinking right now. I'm definitely not drinking right now. Yeah. So. The Citadel. Definitely. Uh, we're definitely exploring. A different part of the wards here. So. This is Zakara Ward. So, the wards that we went to in Mass Effect 1 are definitely different, and we can't go to the Presidium in this game. Except for when we meet the Council. Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. With our Unification Day special, you can get up to 2,000 credits back. Such a deal. Could I interest you in a Turian Esperin sporting shuttle? Unmatched acceleration, peerless maneuvering, and like all Turian shuttles, it can fit a light mass accelerator cannon. Perfect for heavy traffic. I offer a no money down lease on my quality used ships. Ah, I know. Perhaps one of our light haulers. I have several Kowloon modular conveyors available. Very moddable, those Kowloons. You know what makes a ship, Earth Clan? It's the engines. I don't mean to brag, but the Borkat Combine produces wonderful engines. Perhaps you'd like to examine a ship with such an engine? Now, I'm hardly one to judge, Earth Clan, but you appear quite virile. I believe you could use a shuttle with seating for many bulbous children. <laughs> Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Okay. You know, I should figure what out what that chef just said. Because that chef usually says that the first time you enter on the Citadel. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. What can I get you? The meat isn't fresh out here, but you won't find any better dried seaweed on the station. We have six kinds of beer on tap. We don't have a karaoke machine anymore. You do not want to hear drunk Elcor sing. <laughs> and what if we did? Uh-huh. Yeah, I've done four different Shakespeare performance productions in my time, buddy. I'm pretty sure that my experiences trump yours, Elcor. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Welcome. The Zakara Ward Marketplace provides shopping and storage space for the less privileged residents of the station. What sort of things are sold here? The Serta Foundation, a medical technology group from the Alliance, has an outlet store. Sarinus Applications offers professional software. Why are there warehouses in the middle of a shopping district? This area is close to Zakara Ward's keel docking station. Freighters attach there to load passengers and supplies. 
goods are stored locally until they can be distributed within the ward or transported off the station. However, CSEC recommends that visitors exercise caution, as these short-term warehouses are often used to move illegal goods. This area looks a little run down. I take it the people here aren't very well off? Inhabitants of the wards typically have less income than those in the Presidium. There must be some way to solve the problem. Asari futurists believe poverty cannot be eliminated without cornucopia technology, which will create anything the user desires. Such technology is unknown outside of science fiction literature. Sloppy thinking. Society grows by pushing against limitations. <laughs> and here I thought the Citadel was some sort of utopia. The recorded histories of all sapient species suggest that in every society, resources are not evenly split between members. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. This clanless is a thief, and I want her arrested. What? I was just walking by. So, I'm actually not going to intervene on this conversation just yet. Uh, well, there is a certain quarian that we can pick up later on, and the next time I head to the Citadel, I will likely be bringing her in for this specific conversation. So we're going to keep moving on for now. I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni-Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. So, uh, the guy who was having an issue in Mass Effect 1 trying to sell something and get kind of a proof of purchase? Yeah, that's the same guy. Here. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to look back at, uh, Mass Effect 1's, uh, Citadel stores in the markets. No. Tupari, now made with 10% real Tupo berry juice. What is Tupo? Tupari is made with no natural sweeteners. I knew a man who went three days without a Tupari sports drink. He got hit by a shuttle. <laughs> Tupari, the taste Salarians have come to love. Nothing wakes you up in the morning like Tupari sports drinks blast of Tupo berry flavor. Tupari, it's good for you. Tupari brings your ancestors back from the grave. No, it doesn't. Nine out of ten Tupari drinkers recommend Tupari to their friends. The last one is on my list. We sell so much Tupari, it has to be good. Twelve trillion bottles of Tupari are sold in a day. Where's yours? Oh, that's right. It's inside me. <laughs> Tupari, 10 minutes of berry bliss for only one credit. Only losers drink Perigade. You want Tupari. Winners drink Tupari. So, that's Gatorade, but Paragon Renegade drink, right? I'm kidding. Alright, I think that's enough. <laughs> Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. I'd like to buy something. Purchases are made through our catalog interface. It's over there. If everything's done by catalog, why are you here? Customer service. Returns, exchanges, and group rates. We also find that sales are better when there's someone to personally interact with. Though I'm not sure why a human company exclusively hires Asari to work their stores. Hmm. I wonder why. Tell me about your store. 
The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Medigel. I couldn't help but notice your prices. They seem a bit steep. With respect, the Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. You know what would make your services more popular? An endorsement from the man who defeated Saren. Oh my! You're Shepard, aren't you? I would be glad to give you my employee discount if you would do that for us. It's a deal. Just speak into my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. I'll work it into our advertising at once. Thank you. All right. Yeah, Metagel capacity is extremely expensive, and we are going to need some Metagel help in Insanity Mode since, uh, well, the last time I went through thinking that only three Metagels would probably be good enough for me. Maybe the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with oh. the alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like, for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? So, Mass Effect 1, we dealt with uh, Jake and, I'm sorry, Michael and Rebecca's issue on their son Jake. We sided with uh, what the woman wants. And so, yep. They're doing just fine. August 4th, 2185, huh? I wonder if that's today's date in Mass Effect 2. And that is a little close to, uh... Well, not to our specific date. But let's see, it's... We're in the year of 2021. 2185... Minus 2021. That's... 85 minus 21. That's 164 years from now. Yeah. Simple math. Probably not so simple. Welcome to Sarana's Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. 
I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. You are very welcome, Marib. Oh, we got the Archon Visor, too. Well, we're definitely not buying these anytime soon. Hopefully I have enough credits to go about that. So which tech module are we supposed to get? With confusion. I thought you knew. What? No. All I heard Varanis say was, pick up a module. There's always continuing conversations here, so... Probably the next time we come back on the Citadel, which will probably be a while, we'll go through everything again. Okay, so at this point, I think I've gone through as much as I could with what I have right now. I have 2,310 credits, and we still need to talk to the Council. However... I'm just going to double check on the fish shop. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Yep. Hmm. Nah. We still need to talk to this guy. What do you want? Why are you so interested in fish from the Presidio? It's so decadent. Eating a fish from the Presidium would be like screwing Shaira. Ugh. Sorry you're so squishy. Where are you supposed to get a decent grip? <laughs> I talked to one of the Presidium groundskeepers. He said there aren't any fish in the lakes. What? I told you. <laughs> Why have all that water if you're not going to store something to eat in it? I don't understand aliens at all. Thanks for telling me. It's all he's talked about all damn day. No problem. All right. Well. At this point, I don't think we have anywhere else we really need to go to aside from the Presidium. So... Yeah. Um, the factory district is essentially a part of a different... of a loyalty mission we'll get to later on, for those who don't. No Mass Effect at this point. Or have yet to understand Mass Effect at this point. We're gonna head to the Presidium now. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander. We were just talking about you. Hmm. Also, I've never seen Elcor walk, except for that point. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Okay, here's an interesting thing here. Notice how that says a sorry council and Salarian council? This is exactly what I mean. Mass Effect 1's Legendary Edition actually s uh, legitimately spelled out the names of each counselor of the original council. So, Asari Counselor, Tevos, um, Turian Counselor, Sparatus, and then the Salarian Counselor, Valern. But they do describe, they do specify each of their names in Mass Effect 3, and now we just... We had just recently experienced Mass Effect 1's Legendary Edition, where we literally saw each of their names. So the fact that we actually am not, are not seeing their names on here is a little... odd. Not disappointing, but just odd. 
The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reavers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships, allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with someone. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth, one you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. I kept Saren from conquering the Citadel. I sacrificed human lives to save this council. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. I'm on this Council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise, not a public acknowledgement given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? <laughs> Stop by to see how Anderson was doing. You don't have to cover for me. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Consul. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? The Consul reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out with the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you really shouldn't have taken a step like this without consulting with me first, Counselor. I don't answer to you, Udina. Why don't you go to your office and think about that for a while? <laughs> of course, Counselor. Good day to both of you. Sorry about that. Boudin has never gotten over the fact that I got the council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. Boudin is just doing his job. True enough. He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. 
So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. How long does it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. I gotta say really quickly, didn't that Elcor just walk in the exact same path as we just seen a few minutes ago? I don't know. I just find it funny. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. Well, here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be... Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Noted. Well, at least we get to see some part of the Citadel. Yeah. Oh. Well, hello. If my memory serves correctly, this almost looks exactly similar to... Okay, now I see where we are here. I keep forgetting that we actually have an embassy, but we are in the embassy section of the Presidium. And this was where we first met our first Davina, but I guess they decided to rebuild it and add a bunch of different things here. There's four Hanar here. I've never seen that many Hanar and this many Elcor in the exact same place. Although, who knows? We are right next to the Elcor and Volus Embassy as far as I understand it, but there isn't a Sari right there, so I'm... And I think right across from here would normally be where the, uh, the consort would be, but this could also be just something completely different, but they definitely used a piece of what Mass Effect 1's Presidium looked like. It's got the exact same layout. Go see it for yourself, because I'm positive that that, was the, that has always been the case. It's just they've populated more of that area now than I remember. So... Let's see. I don't think there's anywhere else we need to go, so we're just going to head back. I think, if anything, we didn't need to listen to more news, and there's only one other person that could showcase news on the Citadel, and that would be uh, Emily Long. I'm sorry, not Emily Long. Emily Wong. We'll probably get to hear her news at some point the next time we go to the Citadel. Probably. Alright. Well, that just about does it for this video. Thank you very much for exploring the Citadel with me, going through all of the narratives, or at least as many of the narratives as I want to do. Next up, we will be 
recruiting our remain the remainder of our squad in this next video. So take care guys. This is Kyle Skater 24 and have a great day guys.